Hey everybody, this is Geneva of... Y'all don't hear that music? Whatever, people, whatever. Geneva's Closet Talk Show. Hey to all of my subscribers, closet seekers, ladies in blue, and people that will sit there and never not say anything. That's quite all right, people. That's quite all right. You don't have to say anything if you don't want to. Because sometimes I sit in the background too and be quiet. So I completely understand. Please make sure you like and share this video and subscribe to Geneva's Closet right here on YouTube. If you haven't already done so, feel free at any time if you want to let me know something. You can email me right there at Geneva's Closet. 22 people at gmail.com and if you didn't know you're gonna learn today you can also go and follow me on facebook at what at geneva's closet now let's get into the news when i seen this because i seen i don't know when I, a few days ago but i was like i'm not really interested talking about no jesse smollett you know because for the most part whatever but I seen this today, TMZ said, Jesse Smullen 911 call from night of alleged attack, attack release. So I said, you know what, I, I'm gonna just go ahead and play this thing. So I'm gonna play it for you. But let me just read this article. It says, Jesse Smullen did not want to call police immediately after he was allegedly attacked, at least according to a friend who did make a 911 call. On the January 29 phone call, which Chicago PD just released, the friend says Jesse's attackers wrapped the noose around his neck after getting jumped as he left a Subway restaurant. So he say, the caller says Jesse didn't want to file a report, but he was going to force him to do so. The male friend sounded panicked as he said, they put a noose around his neck and added, this is really effed up. No, I don't know if you, when you listen to this, when I play this, if he's going to sound panicked to you or I don't know. It sounds like somebody, you know, lying and trying to get their story straight, can't fully get it straight, and you're doing a whole lot of stuttering over your words. That's what I heard, basically. It says police had said the 911 call was made 40 minutes after Jesse got back to his Chicago apartment. 40 minutes? Or I bet they done put a noose around your neck and beat you and pour bleach on you, whatever he said, and it took you down there an hour to call the police? Okay, whatever. Anyway, we broke the story. Jesse claims he was jumped by two men who not only put the rope around his neck, but doused him in liquid he thought was bleach and yelled, this is make America great again country. That's what Jesse has said that they had said, basically. Police say Jesse staged the attack and charged him with filing a false police report, but the charges were eventually dropped by the Cook County State's Attorney's Office. The city of Chicago is suing Jesse for the cost of his police investigation. Now let's listen to this audio. Okay, people, y'all tell me what you think, okay? <laughs> I'm a player. I'm a player. What they playing? They're playing they play the commercial. I just want to see what y'all think about it. I was sad and it. I may play it those times, two times for you, just to make sure that you hear it correctly. This is coming from TMZ too, if you want to listen to it yourself. I, I, just, I, just, I just see the police should come by. Um, I work with an artist. I, I, I don't really want to say his name, but he states that he, was, he went to Subway and he was walking by and some guys, I don't know, they jumped him or something like that. And I just want to report it and make sure he's all right. I'm waiting in the lobby. I'm going to go back up to the apartment. Okay, so you're going back to the apartment, so you're just going to leave us there? Yeah, I, I, I came down because I didn't lose that I, the address. I, I didn't really like the address, and, you know, he was cool. He didn't want me to call you guys, but I feel like you need to make a report. <laughs> okay, so did, okay, you can't make the report for him. Did he want to make a report? No, he, 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 he I, that's why I'm, I'm doing it. He, he's definitely going to make a report. Oh, I'm going to make, make a report. Does your friend need an ambulance? I, I, he just, he just, he, I just think he's thought of it. It's pretty weird, ma'am, just because I'm scared. I don't know what it is. They, they, they put a noose around his neck. <laughs> you know, they, they didn't do anything with it, put it around his neck. That's really fucked up to me. Sorry to say it like that. Okay, and this is a, a well-known person? Yes, it is. All right, watch for the police. 
Ashley Miller. Yeah, people, uh, all I heard was a whole bunch of stuttering over words. Now, I'm not sure what you heard, but that's what I heard. But, you know, just for the sake of, we're going to play it again. <laughs> so he had originally said, what did he say? He said that he did not want to file a report. And then she was like, so you, because he said he was going to go back up to his apartment. And she was like, so you just going to leave him now because you can't file the report? No, because, you know, because, no, he definitely wants to file the report. I'm like, okay, I'm so confused. <laughs> so I couldn't even fully, because he was stuttering over his words too much. I don't know. Maybe Jesse should have talked to him better so they could have got the story together better. Because the story was not good at all let's let's play it again I, I just i just i just see the police to come by um i work with an artist i i, I don't really want to say his name but he stayed here he, was, he went to subway he was walking by and some guys i don't know they jumped him or something like that and i just want to report it and make sure he's all right i'm waiting in the lobby i'm gonna go back up to the apartment Okay, so you're going back to the apartment, so you're just going to leave it there? Yeah, I, I came down because I didn't lose that I, the, the address. I, I didn't realize the address, and, you know, he was cool. He didn't want me to call you guys, but I feel like you need to make a report. <laughs> okay, so did, okay, you can't make the report for him. Did he want to make a report? No, no he, 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 I, that's why I'm, I'm doing it. He, he's definitely going to make the report. I'm going to make him make the report. Does your friend need an ambulance? I, I, he just, he just, he, I just think he's startled. It's really weird, man, I'm just because I'm scared. I don't know what it is. They, they, they put a noose around his neck. <laughs> you know, they, they didn't do anything with it, put it around his neck. That's really fucked up to me. Sorry to say it like that. Okay, this is a, a well-known person? Yes, it is. All right, watch for the police. Okay, people, you tell me what you think about that video. He all over the place. It sounded his friend was all over the place. I feel like they should have got their words and story together before he called the police. 40 minutes. And why are you out? Like the, like I said, none of that made sense. No one walks on Lake Street in Chicago at whatever time he was supposed to be out going to get some subway. Where's your security at? Celebrities don't just be walking out on the street because you'd be worried that people gonna see you wanna start taking pictures. Anybody got time for that all day? We already knew. See, there go the two men that he said that had did it and come to find out one of them was his trainer. I think the guys worked with him on the set of Empire or was extras or something. It was his friend on Instagram. Did I say that already? Anyway, people, tell me what you think about that 911 audio. Did it sound sincere to you? Maybe it's just me. Maybe I was like his friend is stuttering a little bit all off, like the story not together. Maybe you like, no, he really scared because he said he was scared. So maybe that's what it was. He was just scared and he was just stumbling all of his words, Geneva. You're just being a little extra. Maybe I'm being a little extra. Let me know what you think, please, again, again, because I didn't say this like 99 times. Let me say that all. Please make sure you like and share this video and subscribe to Geneva's Closet right here on YouTube if you have not done so already. It's about time they release it because I did one. That's probably about the only thing that I wanted to hear. And make sure you go follow me on Facebook at what? There you go right there. Right there. At Geneva's Closet, people. Mm, mm, mm. This is just a smaller thing. And now Chicago, does Chicago want to sue them? And then didn't the police chief lady or some lady, that black lady, I don't know, she was a police some, wasn't they trying to sue her or to fire her or something because of this Jesse Smollett case? I don't know. What y'all think of that audio? Let me know, people. You all have a fabulous day. I'll talk to you later. Bye.